Among the insects, the butterflies are the most appreciated. These diurnal relatives of the moths have evolved into a tremendous variety in terms of form and color. And just in Costa Rica, there's something like 1,200 to 1,900 different species. And on any given sunny day, you may find hundreds of these beautiful flying jewels, such as the blue morpho. emergence of a butterfly, the culmination of the extraordinary process of metamorphosis. While many insects go through metamorphosis, the phenomena is particularly amazing when accomplished by such a fragile and beautiful creature. The completely formed butterfly inside the chrysalis takes in air, increasing the internal pressure, and with the help of specialized muscles, cracks the shell to begin its last stage in life. Two fore wings and two hind wings are delicately folded together inside the chrysalis. They must come out quickly and smoothly. The body, while round in the chrysalis, is pushed out to make it long and thin, expelling extra body fluids in the process. Now it must get a good grip and extend its wings out to full size. The wings dry, becoming hard and stiff, and within an hour or two, it will be able to fly off. As the Earth's flora evolved from more primitive plants to include flowering plants with nectar and pollen, the more primitive moths, many of which did not feed on anything, gave rise to the nectar-feeding butterflies some 100 million years ago. Today, there are roughly 20,000 butterfly species worldwide, so for its size, Costa Rica has great butterfly diversity. Identifying butterflies is a different ball of wax. No mind-twisting wing venation tests. No counting anal hairs. Just look at the pretty wings and compare them to the pictures in the field guide. Of the six families of butterflies, the swallowtails are generally large, pretty, and visible. Swallowtails are usually found in open, sunny habitats. Not all butterflies that have tails are swallowtails, like this little skipper. And not all swallowtails have tails. Butterfly caterpillars have evolved a great variety of adaptations for defense that include mimicking snakes. While you may find them basking quietly in the sun with their scales reflecting or refracting colors, Swallowtails are often seen fluttering before a flower as they feed on nectar. A family of whites and sulfurs are small to medium-sized butterflies that are often seen at midday. Many species are migratory, but they are famous for puddling. 
where it seems that males gather salts for mating. The genus Phoebus has many of the large, bright yellow species, like this Phoebus philia, or this Phoebus rarina, with its pointed hind wings. While most butterflies have their underwings with some camouflage patterns for defense, Antoes clarindi has evolved exaggerated wing venation that helps it look like a green leaf while roosting motionless for the night, often in small groups. Many small whites and sulfurs are often seen feeding on flowers along the roadside, a habitat that deserves protection. Most of the whites and sulfurs inhabit open areas, although some do live in forest clearings. Only a few butterflies have become insect pests. The most infamous is the cabbage white, with its lovely green eyes. Characteristic of this family are just four walking legs, the first pair have evolved into special tasting organs. The brush-footed butterflies are the largest and most diverse family, made up of several subfamilies. This consul butterfly not only looks like a dried leaf, but has a false antenna on its hind wing to direct any attack away from the real thing. Butterfly wings are covered with minute scales. Some contain pigments, while others refract light into different colors depending on the sun's angle. This iridescence, reminiscent of hummingbirds, occurs on many brush-footed butterflies, including this doxacopa. Culibura feed on rotting fruit on the ground, a dangerous place. So to have what appears to be two heads gives it a 50-50 chance that a predator will attack the wrong end. Butterflies use compound eyes to see a wider range of light than we do, including ultraviolet. But this Cecropia butterfly depends on its sense of smell through receptors on the antennae to locate rotting fruit. This canopy species is a strong flyer, and it's the only butterfly found on Cocos Island. Another fruit feeder, Smyrna blumfieldia, is named after its apparent similarity to woven carpets made in Smyrna, Turkey. Or so thought the biologists, for some reason. Cracker butterflies are unique in producing an audible cracking or clicking sound, a behavior that remains a mystery. The brilliance of the upper side of a mycelia contrasts with its leaf-like underside, helping it to avoid detection while feeding on rotting fruit. Dynamine is a group of small butterflies that reach their greatest diversity in the Amazon, but 12 species do occur in Costa Rica. Dagger wings, while seem like swallowtails, have the four legs of a brush-footed butterfly. They are fast-flying nectar feeders of lower elevations that occasionally feed on mud. At higher elevations, epiphiles feed on mammal dung, while Hepanerthia, whose fossils date back to the Miocene, inhabit forest edges, landslides, water seepages, mostly in cloud forests. The cappuccino butterfly 
is common at higher elevations in disturbed habitats where it feeds on flowers, fruits, ooh, and dung. It's closely related to the malachite from lower, warmer regions, where it is often seen feeding on rotten mangoes. The cook, abundant in pastures and along roadsides, is well known to Costa Ricans. The cooks do a lot of pollinating, one of the butterfly's ecosystem services. Painted ladies are found throughout temperate regions. In America, it's known for periodic massive migrations, but in Costa Rica, it seems to stay put in its highland habitats. Costa Rican tradition has it that if a lucky 88 or 89 butterfly flies into your house, you must buy a lottery ticket with that number. Its luck guarantees a sure win, at least sometimes. Now this Adelpha hit the lottery when it found these rotting figs. Notice the fake eye spots on its hind wing. Actinodi leucomialis has a smaller male that is all black on top, whereas the female has yellowish patches. Five species of Actinodi make up this small subfamily. The passion flower butterflies are long wings, are some of the most familiar and easily spotted species, like this banded orange. Notice that the Mexican silver spot and its relative, the Juno, have silver patterns on their underwings, making them appear as dried leaves when they roost. The famous Gulf fritillary ranges from North America well into the tropics. Another widespread orange species is the Julia, one of the fastest flyers in common in gardens. The spotted longwing and the very similar but with narrower wings, Echolasia longwing, like all members of this group, lay eggs on passion flower vines. Every butterfly species lays its egg only on a very few host plant species, so distribution is limited by the plant's range. In many species, eggs are laid one at a time because their caterpillars are cannibalistic. Some passion flower butterflies lay clusters of many eggs. It's nice to have flowers in your garden, but don't forget to plant the host plants too. Before this Sidno longwing can lay a fertile egg, it takes two to tango. Mating often takes place after prenuptial flights or intense pheromone activity. Butterfly Kama Sutra positions are limited, but creative. The long wings, including the zebra, are the longest lived butterflies, often surviving to nine months. Their secret, pollen. Not only do they get sugar from flowers, but also pollen, a source of amino acids to make protein. Now behind the green door, there's a dark side to butterfly behavior. It's called pupil mating. These two oversex males have smelled that a female will soon emerge from her chrysalis. They're jockeying into position to be the first to mate with her just before she emerges. The yellow patch longwing, resident of the highlands, like all longwings, has cyanide in its body. The red, yellow, black colors help teach the birds and other predators to stay away just as it does with the postman longwing, a resident of the lowlands. This unrelated console tiger is a good tasting butterfly that mimics a bad tasting tiger longwing. These tiger longwings are on a hot date. 
the male flies above, emitting pheromones and getting all worked up. Success is not always guaranteed. If she thinks he's a total loser, she can actually produce anti-aphrodisiac pheromones. Smell this, you jerk. In Corcovado, the Pacainus longwing can be found often looking for its passion flower host plant. The Doris comes in three color phases, green, blue, and red, not to be confused with a Sarah longwing. This diverse subfamily is composed mostly of small butterflies, some with temperature-sensitive coloration. This Janaeus is common in the wet season. The monarch is familiar to most Americans for its long-distance migrations. In Costa Rica, it migrates just within the country. This related Licorea tiger has hair pencils. The males extrude them from the tip of their abdomen. Pheromones used for mating are more easily spread using these chemical pompons. The queen, like the monarch, are chemically protected by cardiac glycosides, and birds avoid them like the plague. In the tropics, there's always more than meets the eye. Some of the most interesting butterflies are the glass wing or clear wing butterflies. Males leave the forest to feed on certain flowers, like this Ageratum aster. From the nectar, they get alkaloids that make them bad tasting to their enemies. And more importantly, they get sex drugs. Males sit on a leaf, open their wings, and emit a pheromone from scent hairs on their lower hind wings. The odors attract a congregation of males, or lek, a kind of sexual playground where the females choose their mate. Eventually, eggs are laid on members of the tomato family. Glass wings are difficult to tell apart, but biologists, for lack of superior olfactory senses, use wing venation to sort them all out. The largest glass wing is the army ant butterfly, known to follow army ant swarms looking for nitrogen-rich ant bird feces, which many glass wings use to build protein, which is important for laying more eggs and living longer. It's always nice to have a shot of cold nectar after a dinner of bird crap. One defense trick is to play dead after an attack, then suddenly fly off. Katydids look like grasshoppers, but are actually more related to crickets. They have long... This is a totally different species. Perfectly tasty to a predator, but besides the legs, it's an exact mimic. Another defense is camouflage. The Brasilinids have wonderful patterns of eyes and earthy designs on their underwings, like this Opsiphanes. The owl butterflies are the more well-known of the group, with more convincing fake eyes to confuse a hungry bird. One of the largest butterflies in Costa Rica is the Atreus owl. One of their characteristics is that when their wings are folded, a quick tour of an owl wing shows the impressive force of natural selection. How many eyes are enough? Morpho butterflies and other fruit feeders, like the owls, can be found at the base of guava and mango trees, feeding on the juices of rotting fruit. Many in this group are fantastically colored and adorned with spines to camouflage themselves among mosses and lichens. Surely these spines help for defense as well.
mosses and lichens. Surely these spines help for defense as well. For this blush butterfly, there's no shame in drinking way too much brandy. Variation is great, and there's even a species in Brazil that mimics a tarantula hawk wasp. Not only in looks, a tarantula hawk wasp. Not only in looks, but in behavior. Hair streaks have a narrow face. Like many butterflies, the males perch and watch for females. The cone heads are known for the spike or protuberance between the eyes. As with all the katydids, the females have an egg-laying organ called an ovipositor that can be stuck. They are often placed in the hair streak family. This Eurybia has the longest tongue for any butterfly of its size. The Charis iris is found along streams and like many metal marks, have the unusual characteristic of brightly colored underwings. Metal mark males have four legs that are less than half the length of the other legs. Some biologists don't even consider the skippers real butterflies because of certain moth-like attributes. One difference is the hook on the tip of their antennae. Another is they sit with their wings more open than closed. All feed on flowers for nectar, and some on fresh bird poop. Despite all the body armor, katydids are common food for all sorts of animals. This quadrus skipper has bright patterns on its underwing. Bats, birds, monkeys, cuadamundis, snakes, and lizards. Many skippers lay their eggs on grasses. Butterfly diversity in Costa Rica is exceptional. And while their beauty dazzles us, hopefully we can learn to appreciate all the insects as much as the butterflies.